Hello, my fellow potato lovers, or I, or as I might call you from now on, Spudniks. Yeah, that sounds cooler, don't you guys? My fellow Spudniks. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, um, I've been messing around with a uh, Unreal Engine Four as it's been free to use now, uh, no longer subscription based, and I'm not sure about the uh, Unity engine either. But um, obviously, you know, if you make a game, then you're gonna have to pay royalties. Like they still have, they still have that system set. Um, but uh, yeah, I've been messing around. Uh, I've been, I've had an idea cooking around in my head for a game for a while now. I've tried doing it in, you know, raw coding. But I've decided now to try and give it a go in the Unreal Engine. Uh, thus far, you know, I've, I've spent a couple of days at it. Learning how everything works and that with the blueprints, you, know, you have main pl my main player with a uh, custom movement controls and that, um, hold stuff. You know the blueprint system is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love the blueprint system, and if you don't know what it is, it is a visual scripting kind of like coding, but instead of actually writing anything down, you just kind of connect nodes together and. You know, it does it. it. The compiler sorts it all out for you. But uh, yeah, anyways, let me show you what I've got thus far. You know, obviously, no one's final. Uh, you got a bit of debug information on the left here. You know, go near the top, left, down, right. It moves. You got wised. Got zooming. Obviously, you know, my a lot of tweaks. You know, I want to have a different. So it moves faster when you're zoomed out and shorter when you're zoomed in and all that stuff. And um, yeah, class A button here. So you click that. You got that little circle thing there. And what this here is for is a class A shipyard. So click you there and voila. There it is. And it depends on what color you choose your character be uh, to be as well so as you can see down here I've got three at the moment so if I where is it click on you right here I choose green for example uh, let's save that play click on this again and it's still blue <laughs> uh, it's meant to be green I wonder if I actually set that up right. Yeah, uh, green. Uh, let's try this. No, I must still be registering color as. Oh, that's right. I haven't set up default color. So let's just add a little simple thing here. Oops. And set that to green. And this here is event begin play. So whenever the game starts, that there is called. So now let's add it. And voila! Green! You can build them as many times as you want. Um, fortunately, you know, they can intersect. What I'm going to have to do is get the collision box for this here. And... Add it onto this here. So, like, if it's like that there, it won't. Whoops. You know, as you can see, it won't because it's colliding, but here it will. So, you know, it's mess about. It's a start. Um, I wonder how far this can go. Obviously, it's a bit big. And, oh, that uh, ring's made in Blender, so yeah. Uh, phew. I don't know when or how often I'll make these videos every now and again when there's major progress. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Ryan, out.